Does anyone have a shop? Does anyone have a shop? Does anyone have a shop? Thank you, Julian. That will be well, very range, helpful. Mate. Oh, wait. No, it won't. Interesting. All right. So I'm turning on to six volts. There are bubbles. So if we put our hand in there, we will get electrocuted. No. Six volts. It's six volts, and you're wearing rubber soles, and you're wearing rubber soled shoes on a rubber coated. I'm not wearing soles. Anything happening? Oh, by the way, it's more There's exciting up there than here. You and the floor. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm not wearing soles. Well, I don't know. How would I know? Jeremy, you said increasing oxygen. How would you know? What did you pour into no, it? No, because you can't drink gas. Miss Johnson, what did you pour into it? Nickel chloride. Miss Johnson, what is the liquid you pour into it? Uh, nickel the chloride. Liquid is called nickel plating solution. Well, yeah. Right? And it contains nickel sulfate and boric acid. Okay, what are the metals? Uh, the metals is a piece of copper on this side and a piece of zinc on that side. Oh, it might be nickel. I'm pretty, I thought it was no, zinc. No, is it, is it, is it Hang on, Addy, what did you say? Like the energy is like going into the liquid. The energy is going into the liquid. Like, because you're atta you've attached six, a six volt battery, you're pumping electricity into it. Okay, so on, all right, so on one side, let's say this side here, is connected to the blue, is connected back up the top to the negative. <laughs> so what would be attracted? It's in the water. What would be attracted to the negative? Why? No, let's go with let's go with Daniel first. Why would negative electrons be attracted to negative? They wouldn't. No, they wouldn't be. Okay, so something might be attracted to the negative. Something might be attracted to the positive. Would protons be attracted to it? Probably. But do it, but protons if attracted to the positive, protons are basically just an atom, hydrogen atom. If they join together, I'm going to get hydrogen. Okay, Maybe that's hydrogen gas metal. coming off. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we're making a miniature fusion reaction, which is why I don't get you guys to do it. I don't think so. When I'm saying, they're, they're not actually fusing to make helium. No, no, don't do that. Keep it in your brain. We'll talk, discuss it after. Uh, the blue liquid, which. It looks green to me. Yeah, yeah that's green. That's, gr but that's green. But on the camera, it's coming up quite blue. It's just because the camera's still I doesn't know what colours are. Um, but the blue liquid is called a nickel plating solution. Nickel. N i c k e l two sulfate. The i i. Oh, oh, um, in which this, means you should know how to write the formula. Um, in this experiment, which one is the cathode and which one is the anode? I don't know. He does. He does. Well, let's think about it. it. You know what cathode. You know what, is, what does the cathode sound like? Anything? The material to be plated. Cathode. Cathode ray cathode. tube. Cathode. Cat scan. Cathode. Don't say cat scan. That's a C A T scan. Cathode. And what's the other one called? The anode. Dog-o. Are these Captain Dog and standing familiar? <laughs> Dog-o. Cation and anion. Do those words sound familiar? Cation and anion? Positive. <coughs> oh, I read that as cation. <laughs> That's probably wrong. That's wrong. Never mind. Okay. Should we have a look? Yeah, keep cranking. Raise up a thing. Negative goes to the positive. Does it? Okay. Oh, but the bubbling stopped when you disconnected it. Hey, nickel. So what do we see there? Nickel. But if I rub it off, is it coming off? No. no. It's so nickel. it's kind of got some kind of plating happening. What? Using electricity. Some kind of Electro -plating. plating electricity, maybe. Or electroplating. Or electroplating. Can you crank it up? Okay. Um, Can you dump yeah. inside things, yeah? Can you do what do you mean? What happens if you what happens if you add even more power? Even more electricity? Does it happen faster or does it just
keep going. I don't know. Let's don't try. Have a I would not. I wouldn't suggest you do it, but let's do it anyway. Okay. Okay. So if I crank yeah, this up. Okay. That, that bubbling is definitely getting Correct. a bit faster. Now I'm going to turn that down. Because that's a lot of electricity you have just. No, right not really. There. But also, I, I'm worried about the gas that's being produced. Oh, yeah. I thought I smelled something a bit. Now, uh, back row. Ready? Lily? Uh, can you tell me the two things is nickel two sulfate? Bracket BO3. H3. Is it? It's H3BO3. H3H3. H3. So remember sulfuric becomes sulfuric acid is sulfate. <laughs> Carbonic acid is, car is carbonate. Boric acid is borate. <coughs> H uh, so BO3. And what's the charge? What's the charge of boron? Plus three. Okay, charge of oxygen. <laughs> negative two. So negative two times three. It'd be what's negative three. So what's the charge overall? Negative three. So how many H's are on there? Three. three. That's my guess. I don't actually know. Hang on, look it up. Sure. Oh yeah, H3BO3. Correct. Well done, guys. Right, so that's in the solution. Need to. I also have some copper. And I also have some zinc. And this one is connected to minus. And this one is connected to plus. Negative and positive. So if this is negative, what's going to be attracted out of these to here? No, that's nickel. Anything with a plus charge. And what else? The sulfate. Sulfate's one. Will be connected to the yeah. 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 Some name is supposed to have capital letters. That's, that's what I was thinking. What else? Yeah, that's the sulfate. Yeah, what? Hydrogen? Hydrogen's going to go to the space well. And then the boric is going to go to the space well. Anything with a negative. Correct. So what will we expect to see over here at the copper ion? The copper 
Nickel and hydrogen. Gas. What well, gas? Uh, hydrogen. Nickel, copper. So it looks like the nickel will go here, the hydrogen will go here. If I get lots and lots of nickel... Wait, where's the boric acid? You have to get lots and lots of hydrogen. Uh, that's the stuff that's in here. It's got nickel sulfate and boric acid. Oh, and boric acid. Okay. Right, that's just to keep it solid. Right, so here the nickel's going to go over here. If I get lots and lots and lots of nickel, what will I see? Lots and lots and lots of yeah. nickel. Here's my copper, yeah. and here's all the nickel just sticking to it. If I get lots and lots of hydrogen here, what happens when two hydrogens get together? Bubble oh, turns yeah. into bubbles. Yeah. off. Don't we see yeah. bubbles? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to see the hydrogen bubbling off. Yeah, right. All right, can I stop this now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Does this count as a valid answer? Describe two hazards you encountered during this experiment. Okay. Becoming cool. sterile. How we solve oh. this is we make Mr. Johnson do it, but he already has kids, so it's fine. Uh, is that a valid answer? Come on, shut up. There you go. Is that a valid answer? So now that's nickel. So we've actually plated it with nickel, and if I rub this off, it's still there. Alright, so that's actually plated on there now. God, there's so much in the air. It's cool. It's so just the nickel in there. Wait, what's actually with the nickel? So that's actually, that's actually rough. I've got, so that's actually bits of nickel there. Alright. Please, people, plate dance up. Please, people, plate dance up.